Hello and welcome. This video is for HSC presiding officers and describes how you are to conduct the online HSC Science Extension exam. You should also watch the video entitled Features of the Science Extension exam so you know what the exam will look like. Like with all other exams, make sure you read the presiding officer handbook and the daily exam schedule carefully before you do anything else. In the presiding officer handbook, there is a list of the roles and responsibilities for the science extension exam. You'll see that you'll be working with an exam IT coordinator. They are responsible for ensuring the students' computers are suitable for the exam, for helping you set up the exam room and for troubleshooting on the exam day. The exam IT coordinator is a member of the school staff, but can't be the extension teacher. You need to meet them well before the exam day. By the time you meet, the exam IT coordinator will have already checked that the students' computers meet Nessa's requirements and loaded specific software onto them. When you meet the exam IT coordinator, check that the lockdown browser has been loaded onto each student's computer and confirm that all students have sat the sample exam using the computer they will use on the day. Confirm if students are using school devices or their own. Discuss the placement of backup devices. The exam IT coordinator will provide these as a contingency. Decide which room or rooms will be used and how they will be set up. Discuss any disability provision students and their requirements. Develop a detailed plan of what each of you will do on the exam day. There's a couple of other tasks that you need to do for the science extension exam. These are more or less the same as for all other HSC exams. Firstly, you need to roster your supervisors. Try to roster experienced supervisors who are comfortable using a computer. Check in the presiding officer handbook for the supervisor-student ratio. You also need to check that the student PIN letters have been delivered to the school. There are no student completion records for science extension. Instead, each student has a PIN letter with their photo and student number and the details and instructions for logging into the exam. The PIN letters will be delivered to the school with the student completion records and other HSC stationery. Finally, you need to check that the secure backup material for science extension has been sent to your security centre. You will be advised by Nessa when you can do this. Like on every HSC exam day, you need to go to the security centre to collect the secure material. For the science extension exam, this will not be exam papers, but a copy of the online exam for each student stored securely on a USB. Do not open the secure bag unless you are told to do so by Nessa. When you arrive at the school on exam day, you and the exam IT coordinator need to check that everything is ready. Firstly, the exam IT coordinator will check that there is internet connectivity. Then they need to check the computers. Each computer needs to have three hours of battery life or else be plugged into mains power. They need to be connected to Wi-Fi or to be connected to the internet with a cable. The lockdown browser needs to be installed and all applications such as email, messages, Spotify and Apple Music must be closed. Students must have a keyboard, mouse and wired headphones. 
While the exam IT coordinator is checking the computers, you can put the PIN letters on the desks along with a generic writing booklet. Once the computers are ready and the students are seated, ask them to check the volume on their computer using their headphones, as they can't do this once the exam starts. Then, do a final check to ensure that each student has the correct PIN letter. It is very important that a student does not accidentally log in using another student's student number and PIN. You're now ready to start the exam. Instruct the students to enter the web address for the exam that is printed on their PIN letter and select Start Exam. This will launch the lockdown browser. The students may see a pop-up window asking if they want to launch the lockdown browser, which they should accept. The exam instructions page will appear. The students should read the instructions and read and accept the terms and conditions, but they must not log in until you have read all the announcements and the malpractice warning. The students can then log in and begin reading time. Students cannot type or write during the reading time, but they can highlight and move from one question to another. Note when reading time starts in your daily exam schedule diary. When reading time is finished, the students will see the start exam prompt. They should then start the exam straight away. If a student asks for help using any of the functions within the exam, direct them to the information button. As with all other exams, there is a small chance that there may be a problem during the exam. However, as with all other exams, NESA staff are on call to provide advice, support and assistance. If an issue can't be resolved, NESA will make sure that the students are not disadvantaged. Technical problems must be referred to the exam IT coordinator. These include a student not being able to log in or their screen going blank. The exam IT coordinator will call the NESA help desk to resolve any technical problems. You, the presiding officer, should manage any other problems as you would for any other examination and call the presiding officer hotline if you need help. If there is a major disturbance, you may need to give the pens down instruction. In such a case, before you call NESA, make sure the students do not use their computer or their mouse, do not read the screen, nor make notes in their writing booklet. It is unlikely that you will need to use the backup exam stored on the USB that you collected from the security centre. If you do, you will be talked through the steps by NESA staff. During the exam, you will need to complete the online attendance roll. Instructions for doing this are in the handbook. The computer will time each student's exam so that it takes exactly two hours. If a student finishes early, they should raise their hand and alert the supervisor before they submit their responses. Students do not need to complete any paperwork at the end of the science extension examination. When all students have left the exam room, you need to collect any material and store or package it according to the instructions in the daily exam schedule. Remember, NESA staff will be on hand to help you if you have any questions about the science extension exam, either before, during or after the exam day. You can contact them at 1800 200 955 or 
at the email address displayed on the screen.